Uh, so first you could select the mod, uh, that means what kind of ADC value you want to measure, the AC value or DC value. And then it also has a function like uh, the rest stop function, a peak voltage cursor, uh, the trigger voltage adjustment, and you can also adjust the horizontal position of the waveform. And also it has a reset function to recover the whole system. And also the ADC, uh, and also this switch is I used to select the ADC channel. Okay. okay, this is running on a DE1 SOC. Sure. And so now you're going to connect it up to the uh, signal generator? Sure. So I have a first uh, input a uh, DC value here. And you can see the voltage display here, and this line also shows the display. And the, uh, from this coordinate access, you can make a double check about it. And since the ADC uh, converter here is a 12 bit guy, so the measuring range is 0 to uh, 4.096. And this coordinate access also may help you to uh, control your input not out of, range, uh, out of its range. Okay. And if you change the input, the output will change uh, at a really quick speed. So here, the rest stop function is here. You can use it to stop it and get a single value. So okay. that's our function for. So let's run stop. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. And then I will input a sine wave as example. Okay. Now the sine wave is displayed here, and uh, here is the frequency, and you can see that uh, compared with the input, is uh, is pretty good. And also the rest stop function is also there. You can stop it to get a single value. And then another uh, useful function is the peak voltage cursor. Uh, this two this two line may help you to read the peak voltage through the coordinate axis here. Mm -hmm. And also. Here, uh, this line shows the trigger voltage. You can uh, change it by these two buttons to help you get a better display. Okay. And if you want to measure a frequency with the uh, with with the, with the larger frequency like this. Oh, hold on. Okay. So now you can see that there are too many cycles in one screen, which makes the display a little messy. Mm -hmm. So here you want to change this. Uh, a horizontal position, you can use this function. So the basic idea here is just enlarge one piece of the uh, display and make you get a better waveform. Okay. And the same idea if you want to measure uh, a frequency with a uh, uh, Oh my god. Sometimes it just oh okay okay I didn't uh, uh, I didn't enable this I enable the rest stop so okay. it stopped okay so now if you want to measure a uh, waveform with low frequency you can also adjust the the horizontal position to get a better display okay and uh, then another uh, useful function is the reset function so sometimes it may freeze and uh, under that condition just reset it and you will you will uh, restart it and get it work again and also the final function uh, so this three button uh, since the ADC converter here has eight channels so so this three switches I used to configure it to, to select a channel. Now the configuration is 0, 0, 0. That means now the ADC converter is measuring ADC data through channel 0 and also input data through channel 0, which is here. So it match, which uh, which makes the uh, uh, which, which makes the measurement really good. And if I change the configuration to 0, 0, 001, which means now which means now it, it is measuring the channel through uh, through channel 1, but you still input the data through channel zero so now it shows that there are there is no input okay and now if you change the input to channel one so it will it will have it will have the waveform again nice okay so you have okay. possibility of eight channels of measurement that sure. you can select yeah sure. 
And and this is all done in hardware. Sure. So the, the, are you using a NIOS processor on here? Or uh, no, I, you, all, I, uh, all I use is FPGA logic. This is all FPGA logic. Sure. Very cool. And, so and how did you do the text on there? Did you make your own font? Or did you find a font generator? Uh, well, I built a, some image file uh, for, uh, for, for these figures. Mm -hmm. And I select them through, uh, a, through the input channel and through the calculation. First, I calculate these uh, frequencies. And then I, I, I select them from, uh, from these 10 numbers. Zero to nine. So you 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 built your own your own character generator. Sure, sure. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you.